Hi, uh, very good morning to everyone. I hope uh, you have a very good day today. <laughs> cool. Uh, my name is Ajay. I'm a SME for gaming and esports and metaverse programs. And uh, I'm backing up with the experience around 12 years in this field. And I'm graduated from Oxford Books of University and from Singapore. And I was working in Singapore as well as in Dubai. And right now I'm associated with Eero group of companies, which is called Eero Wired. So they are into an online medium programs where they deliver a lot of online courses uh, towards a uh, lot of various genres. And right now I'm helping them to come out with gaming and esports. And we are partnered with Nordwin Gaming. That's about me. And uh, we will talk about a lot of interesting aspects of gaming in this career. I hope many of you know about this and I would like to brief a uh, certain set up a context. So I'll start with the growth and the future of gaming and connecting that to the various aspects. And in the end, I'll connect with the career aspects. So if I straight away jump in, that won't be right. So I would like to understand before I talk about the career, what are the games do you like? So anyone, can you throw your thoughts? I like starting with, I like God of War and I love GTA. <laughs> I love a lot of games which is shown here and I would like to hear from you thoughts. Tom wow, Tom Raider, superb. I love it too. Wow, anyone else? God of War, I have one more fan with me. Cool, anyone else? Assassin's Creed, wow, anyone? Street Dogs, again one more lover, great. Wow, okay, cool, it's really good to hear that. Many of this are my interesting too. And why I was asking for this is, uh, we are talking about mobile market and gaming market. But if you talk about a career as a gaming, everyone thinks that uh, we have YouTube and only that is the only learning point. Our online courses are the only learning point. Actually not. If you are not part of any of the gaming communities, I request, I suggest you to be, be a part of communities because there are a lot of experts around the communities to help the young, upcoming developers, designers, artists, and various other job roles. I suggest you to be a part of communities that helps you to learn more things. And that will make you to meet up people, understand, talk to each other, what is the genres and how, what is the current market, what is the current trends, because I still do. I love to meet people. I, I love IGTC for that actually, because I've been talking for last two years with many of them without seeing their faces. I mean, working with them. But thanks to IGTC for making this happen to meet people. So I suggest you to be a part of communities, a lot of conferences, understand the market more better way towards if you want to step into the gaming career. And to be very frank, if you are a CS student or a mechanical student, everyone have that common question, but you're not coming up. But I'll like to throw thought about that. If you are an aeronautical student or engineering student, mech student, not a problem. You have an opportunity to become a gamer or a game developer or an artist or a designer. It's not that those who think that only developer is an opportunity, nothing like that. So to move forward, of course, I want to step back from year of 2019 before I talk about the current scenario or uh, upcoming things. You have to know what is the mapping around things going around, right? I hope how many of you seen these pictures before, but I'm just, oh, you've seen it. That's really great. <laughs> so 152 billion market for gaming and thanks to COVID in that space. <laughs> because COVID made gaming to grow up like bigger structure. Comparing to any market, it pushed out all the music, movies, everything at the back. Starting from five age, from, I have a daughter. She's a fan of my friend's game who made a rubber cutting. She's a damn fan of it. It's a very simple game. It's done by one of my friends and he got his name called Reloading. It's company name called. And it's a, my daughter is a, she loves games and she likes to play that games. And now Desert Die. A lot more games like this. So the game became a very big market during the COVID and followed by in the upcoming years, like we got a lot of bigger growth, I'll be showing that aspects of it to it. Before I jump in, 
many people think that sir only do you think a designer role is a role or developer role or what is the other ecosystem space which we can get a job and to tell you in this aspects before some years we didn't have hardware development from india but right now yes we have started making our own adverse if you want to talk about that i can name ajna ajna lens where they are coming out with their own adverse and we have like that lot of companies started making adverse and people started developing their own sdks for games like you have been using how many of you are game developers already here any game developers here what type of sdks you do you use have you tried any sdks to incorporate in your games anyone no sdks if you want to bring in social media inside your game you are using some sdks and apis right they are started developing markets for that also we are looking forward for those developers compared to normal developers we have an opportunity in various parts so why i am bringing why i am going to connect you back to this slide is like you have an opportunity to come to work with publishers streamers streamers are the high trend market right now If you want to work with the current trend, streamers are highly required right now. And we have gaming arenas, we have esports. Only talk about esports. We have a lot of opportunities. So there are various options to work around this space. Anyone other than game developers, game designers, any game designers? Wow, game artist. Cool. Any game publishers working with game publishers? Game monetization. Cool. No problem. to tell you about the global market where india or where before that i want to tell you first of all the hardware market i suggest always to my students because i am dealing with students i love to deal with students i suggest always to the students that mobile market is a growing market and you have to tap in why i say that i have a strong reason in india we are the maximum people using mobile phones from the rural to urban cities and in the global market we are in the second position for mobile phones we are in the second space so of course you have a larger number of users why you like to miss that so i suggest my students and i suggest everyone here also to tap in the mobile market of course you, it's not that right sir can why not i should tap my pc yes please go ahead i i mean i have no nothing about it there is a good market for it but mobile space is 103.5 billion market why do you miss that you can be a part of it why do you want to be a uh, missing a, such a big market here so i suggest my learners and my students to be part of that so that is my suggestion always to my and i would like to talk about now indian market in indian market if you see the growth it's like wow it's really wow it's it's like 1.49 point billion why do you miss this like you each and every one are the part of it each and every one i can say who ever releasing that you have one game released yes you are the part of it If you are planning a good monetization part of it, yes, you are the part of it. Do not, it's like if you are not started making games, start doing it. You think you have a good friend who is artist and you are a developer, start releasing the game, and you can keep on updating it. Nothing wrong in that space. I'm making it clear. So I suggest everyone. It's like small team, big team, doesn't matter. there are not of startups as not registered but they have released such a song games how many of you played raji raji wow such a good team it's like we are proud to say that they are the part of indian team and they have marked us in the global market also sorry so here any i suggest everyone to tap in start developing the games which is going to tomorrow your game became a, in the global market stand around the global market La, let's not start talking about i i started my conversation with international games of course but tomorrow we should talk about make other people to talk about our indian games that should be the motive i used to i used to tell all my learners and artists i when i see lot of artists here so this point is for the, all the artists i would like to drop it when we say Mario 
whom do you remember? Nisse Mario, character, game, game character. You remember that, right? But you don't, many people don't know that who developed it. But the character was fixed strongly in their mind, right? I suggest my artist, our artist, our Indian artist to create such kind of a stand market. Not everyone talk about Mario. Now Raji is talking for the character also, including again the character. But we have to come out with our strong knowledge aspect to register our characters and our games for that many strong strength in the global market. That's the stand I would like to put it up here. Moving forward, I think I moved. <laughs> okay, I'm good. So in the gaming space, now mobile or console, PC we are talking about, right? At the same time, we are talking about now the cloud gaming, VR, AR-based games. Because that is thanks to Geo on that space. <laughs> Geo, how many of you saw Geo glasses? Have you tried anyone else? You have to check out for the AR places. Even Ajna is also releasing the classes. And like that, lot of interesting people coming out with interesting hardware with their marketplaces on the AR space. So AR games and VR games are going to rule the market next. And followed by thanks to Metaverse, where Meta is going out to change our avatars, looking at a different look. And now I'm looking fat. But if I go to the Metaverse world, I can change my shapes. If I want to become a monster, <laughs> or if I want to become a very good looking guy, like Salman Khan, Shah Rukh Khan, of course I can be it. No one is going to stop me. So, definitely real-time personalization is, is talking about your Metaverse character creation. So, I would like to show some examples. Of course, how many of you played Pokemon here? That's, uh, that's right. That's, that's cool, that's cool. So yes, Pokemon has started. VR games is another than a good example. I, can, I cannot find another good example for you. Pokemon is the right example for you guys, right? Started hunting, where is the Poke? Where can I throw it? In the streets. People were thinking we are crazy. But that is the future. That is the future. That is the career. So, and lot more games. And I would like to talk about, when you talk about virtual reality, can you... Hello? Sorry guys. Hello? Sorry. Sorry for the technical glitch. How many of you played Beat Saber? Wow, that's cool. So how many of you tried VR glasses? Let me put it up like this. How many of you tried VR glasses? That's really great. So, Next, when we talk about AR games, the next thing is VR games. As equally, we are fighting up and creating. I would like to, when you talk about VR games, I don't want to stop in VR games only. VR simulations. When you talk about VR simulations, it helps to set up or to connect with various industries. I personally worked with a lot of manufacturing companies to train the people how the operation works. Example, Amazon. Amazon is a good example for manufacturing. They have VR simulations. If you talk about shoe manufacturing, if you talk about e-commerce platforms, we can start buying products in virtual reality. How many of you tried it? Cool. So, VR is in a different stage right now. If you're talking about, if you're, how many of you into VR driving simulators in Maruti? Cool, cool, because games one side, at the same time, Maruti, before you pass the test, you have to pass the test in the driving simulator. That's a large space for you guys to work around. When not, let's say, if you are saying that you are a game developer, you have a larger opportunities to get into the other space, which you can tap in that areas also. That includes of AI developer, VR developer, now, the current trend, Metaverse developers. <laughs> if you search in Nokri, highest job search, Metaverse developers. But if you see the job description, lot of things are matching. So, before I talk about uh, the th other device which I want to talk about, I want you guys to check out this video. Uh, audio is not coming. 
I, I don't know how many of you have seen this suit before. Anyone have seen this suit? Similar. What is that? Exactly. India has its own suit. And this is not the Indian suit, by the way. We have called in Allo suit. It is made in Mangalore. And it is CEO is called Arsha Kikeri. This suit, when you got shot by an enemy in the game world that takes a real vibrator, feel that you take into that shot. When if you are playing a SWAT game, if someone is going to cut your hand, you will really feel that there is a vibrators at the each and every part of the suit. This is called Aptek Gaming Suit. And here, Homni VR. If you go O M N I B R. This is with the treadmill, a pair of shoes. When you run, it makes give you a feeling that you are running in the virtual space. Which connects you. Well, again, I want to connect this with the career options. Yes, there is an option talking about how to create that kind of an APKs for that. Because when a new product comes in, there is an opportunity for the AR space also. And we are that particular APKs. Because its shoes are being connected with the sensors. When it runs, it, you have to connect with that. You have body sensors. It should connect with your games. So, there are a lot and lot of opportunities. And this suit is going to rule the market next. Next time when you go to any gaming arenas, you have a different space set up. In Mumbai, if you go search for Sandbox VR, it is already done the setup. If anyone from Mumbai, have you tried Sandbox VR? Go and check it out. <laughs> you have to check it out. It's really, really interesting. It's like if you want, they have started doing parties in VR. They have started doing not only gaming, they started recreating the who is no more in this life. There's a good scenario which I want to tap in here like a small kid which is no more, a mother on his daughter's death anniversary. This was recreated in virtual space and she was engaging with her with the support of AI and this virtual. So there are a lot of options and a lot of domains are interestingly looking out for this space. Now again, I want to come back to India again. <laughs> so why India is coming up, which is five, we started a bit late, but we are equally in the market. Equally fighting in the market right now with others because, because of you all guys. Young population. We are 400 companies in India. Every, as I told, I, I just want to talk about the people who didn't register a company also, but they have released their games. There are a lot of game companies yet to register, but they have a strong portfolio already. Publishers are working with them. And a lot of, as I told you, in 2023, we, have, we are supposed to reach 450 million gamers in India we are talking about. Only India. We are talking about only Indian ecosystem. And we have lot and lot of content developers in India. That is the powerful. Because people can come out with hardware, but where they don't go for content. Of course, we can do that. Because we have a very good population on young generation. And you could have seen a lot of people who are expo in the expo. You would have seen a lot of people who are looking forward for content developers. In companies also, they are looking for a lot of hunting for content developers. Start making your content, then people will start looking out for. They can come out with an hardware, but not with the content. So you are the people to make the content. As I told, India is fighting. I would like to put where we are also, right? That's my responsibility to tell you that. In the top 100 countries gaming revenues, India was in the 17th position. But right now, we are in the 16th position. We are moved up. Every year, we are showing our growth with the support of upcoming games, upcoming games putting up in the global market also. Which I was telling you about a uh, rubber cutting game. I would like to put one more game called Desert Die. And this game was down 5 million downloads in the US market. So of course, Indian games in the US market, it was a great success and great hit. So why can't your game can be? 
that's the point which I'd like to put it up. And shortly we would like to see and fight with other countries and we want to move at the top space also. And we have that potential. Of course, we have a strong crowd with us. So we can do that. This is for all the newbies uh, who are stepping into the... How many newcomers who have not from gaming and who have not interested in something? How many newbies are here? Cool. No problem. I tell all the... Even whoever is starting my course or whoever is I'm teaching, I'm teaching to the colleges, taking workshops and everything, every newbies or from other departments who want to interested in gaming but where, they, where to start, they don't know that space. For them, I used to tell few pointers this is on that space. One is, if you can able to do a GTA, also please keep that aside, start with the smaller ones. That too, mobile phone markets. I suggest every time, I hope I started with that, again I want to connect that statement, I want everyone to start tapping the mobile market space. Think big, make small games, simple games, it became a very good success. And we are having a very good publishers with us who do Crazy Labs, Quali, a lot more. Tap in them. They are ready to procure. If you have a wonderful idea, they are ready to publish on your games. So start thinking small and implement it, then go for your bigger ideas. Next thing, follow the existing game developers. I hope we have Viber Chavan, we have Exa, Ex Sigma Games, we have Nickel, we have a lot more people, right? Start following those developers and a lot more developers. Even though I could have not mentioned everyone, there are a lot of big developers in the market. Nodding Edge Games. And a lot more people are there. Follow them. Tap on them. See what they are saying. See other people. We can even follow on abroad based developers, artists, designers. Understand them. Where exactly we have a gap, we have to fill in. That is our responsibility. I always suggest my students and I have a one best part to tell you guys have a learner from almost 40 to 50 years person he's, he's frequently following up with me in LinkedIn and he's trying to understand where to start in game development and he started making games right now so that one thing I want to tell you is there is no age limit to start your games and even I'm starting teaching my daughter also by the way <laughs> I started torturing her also and she is very interestingly learning the game part and I have a nephew he is very interested in Roblox. How many Roblox players are here? Any Roblox? Cool, cool. He is very interested. Every time when you meet me, you talk about Roblox. He is very interested. And he creates character and he wants to create himself and then put it inside the Roblox. So, like that, he, people try to follow them. And please be very, very updated to the current trend which is going on. Like I was talking about technology part, right? I am very thirsty guy. Try to understand what is market and try to. I've been mean, already used all these technologies. I I want to try on more technologies. I, whenever there is a new technology, when I heard about, I'll just find a way. Is there a possibility I can go and check it out? That's. I suggest you the same. It's not when you are into game development or you're into gaming field. You have an option of various domains to go in and work. So I, at the same time, I suggest you guys to be understand the technology and go tap in there also. Your markets are not restricted only in gaming domain. I just want to put that statement very strongly here. Your market is not only in gaming domain. So tap in the other market. Analyze the games. Understand the games. Where is the gaps you can find it. So that you don't do that mistakes in your games. It may be movies, games, doesn't matter. If you see any movies that are extended to the gaming market. If you see any games that are being even extended to gaming market. It's like vice versa. When a director from movies, Rajamoli, when he released this game, Bhag movie, Bagbali, this side Moonfrog started developing Bagbali game. This side, if you're talking about Spider-Man, we have Spider-Man movies. How many people like Spider-Man here? Cool. I'm a fan of two. So, at the same time, you should have, at the same time, sorry to add one more point, in Bagbali, we have even animation series also. So, when you plan a game, you should have a long-term vision for it. You should have a long-term vision, starting from it, maybe from PC, console, animation series, and followed by the other areas also. Even more, it can be a small feature film also, nothing wrong in that. 
but you should have a strong vision on the space. That's the point I would like to leave it here. Followed by, do not stop learning. That's why I always say that. I keep, I, like I suggest everyone, I, I'm not, I'm very bad in reading books, but I used to listen to books, audio books, and I try to follow some good authors. I like to follow some good YouTube channels. I like to follow some food uh, designers, developers in the market. To I even tell that developers and designers to my learners, students, to please follow them. Because anywhere, any point, you can connect with them. That's the suggestion I would like. It's a general point which I'm going to leave it here. At the same, but one point which I like to develop. When you create a game, starting from the game development space, till you implement, please have a proper timeline. Any students, when they start a game, they start up very well with this full grace. But a problem, they, when they're in the middle tracks, they miss the games. There are a lot of things, they feel they are lost. You have to have a deadline, hit to the deadline. Release the game, whatever problems it faces. Do not stop anywhere. If you think it's, there is a problem, no problem, release it with the glitch, again fix it. Your responsibility is to glitch, fix it. Plan the game. And one more thing, please don't take the feedback with your friends. Only friends. He will definitely say it's good because he's your friend. He will not say, does your friend say you're bad, you're looking bad? He will not say. Because he is your friend. Learn to ask the feedback from the unknown people and should learn how to take a good feedback. That is a very, very, very important thing. You may be an artist, designer, anyone, any role you are. Very important skill is you should know how to take a feedback. That's a very common thing. Many industry people used to talk to me in that space. When a student or anyone make a game, ask whether the game color tone is good, whether the game characters look good, whether the game sound looks good, whether the game UI looks good. Be, throw your question to the precise points. Do not say, Macha, my game is good. I say, of course, I'm Macha, super, yaar. Of course, obviously, you'll say that. Please, chal ra, chal ra, yaar. Acha yaar, acha game. Please don't do that. Ask him which one you like. Whether you like the music, whether you like the, which part of the music, whether the game effects are good. Throw your questions very precisely. Then you make it up. That's the right feedback. That's how you take a feedback. That's, I want to put it out to everyone that space. And give a game to a third person. Ask him to observe, analyze your game. Give a list of problems he faced that. That is the real report you get it. That is the real analyzing report you get it up. It's not that you make and you give it to a third friend. He will analyze. Ah, okay, nah, everything looks good. Much, huh? Okay, you can take it. No. Give to a third person who don't know you and he should be a real artist and they ask him to give the feedback. That's where you get the real feedback. Any games, any artworks, anything you do, please check out that. And every artist, I would like to put a drop a note here. Please don't follow the regular art styles. People are bored out of it. Come out with a different art styles, guys. We people, people think that we are a copy paste. Please don't do that. We have a lot of art styles which we can tap in. This is what my next point too. Let's not be a clone of another game. Let's create a unique standpoint. Let's create a strong strategy. Tell people in the global world loudly that we can come out with a unique stand. We have a unique prototype. Unique concept. Why not? Just please don't be a copycat. It should not replicate any of the... It doesn't look... should not look like Avatar character. It doesn't look like a Cuphead character. It should not look like a, any of the normal Mario character. You create. You don't feel bad. Go stand before the mirror. I used to tell my artist. Go stand before the mirror. Sketch yourself. Take a photograph. I used to tell my animators, you, before you do jump, you just try to walk or try to jump. You do that first before you create an animation. I used to tell all that to my animators. I literally jump in the class. Show the animation that first I can do. 
how a fat guy jumps, how a short guy jumps, how a guy who is lightweighted or heavyweighted, how he looks like an animator. You should know by yourself. Record yourself. You should know how the animation works. You should know how it presents. That's how I would like to put it out. This is for people thinks that I am a lawyer, I am a uh, doctor, or I am an uh, engineer, or I am from a mechanical background. That do you think I should get into gaming, or do should is there a possibility for me gaming? We are coming up to say that yes, you have an opportunity. Only thing is which part of the thing you have to focus, you have to plan. Yes, I am going to be a game developer, game developer, or you want to go with a good game artist or a game designer. You should have a clear picture you what you want to become. Before you take up that as your career, please research on that. And, to, and next thing is, everyone asks me this question, which game engine is good? Everyone, everyone asks this question. Any student, anyone who wants to start a game, everyone has this bigger question mark, which is the best game engine I should start? I suggest you here, there is no any good game engine or bad game engine. <laughs> there is no any good game engine, bad game engine. Only thing is on which you are tapping in starting. You, are tar you want to try very simple game engines, not complicated. Or if you want to start with movies and you want to look very lo fancy, look good, really realistic. I side away suggest you to go to Unreal. There, side away when my first project comes in, I will create avatars. All will have avatar characters and avatar movie looks. Because Unreal is very realistic, looks all the real time qualities, looks very fancy. Let's say I want to start my project in 2D. I suggest you construct 2D, Godot, Unity. There are a lot of game engines. So I definitely I'll tell you them. Engine tools keep on changing. You have to be very, very strong in your concepts. You should, if you are a programmer, please be strong in your programming concepts. If you are an artist, please be strong in your art styles. And today, free to open source, Inkscape, paid tool, Adobe, a Photoshop using by the photo studio guy and Photoshop used by an artist are also utilized properly. How extensively we use the tools are the really important. It's not about which tool you use. When a student came me, sir, I cannot buy Adobe, sir. Don't buy. Use Inkscape. I need the art. I don't care which tool you use. I need a game. I will not say use Unreal, go ahead. Use Unity, go ahead. Construct it, go ahead. And I need a game. I don't get corner, I don't want any student to get struck. Sir, when I, when I get JDs for the faculty's roles and the developers' roles. Sir, I know game developer, I know construct, I know got it. I'll say whether you know concepts or not. You know the concepts or not. Who wants your, so many game engines? Whether are you strong in your hoops concepts? My first question to the developer will be this only. If he's not, I'll send them his profile. I'll reject his profile, that's all. No point. Any profile without the portfolio, any profile without the examples and the projects which made by you, it should not buy your assignments. It should be really a projects. Sorry for skipping that. Uh, there is an audio problem in that. Uh, there are a lot of opportunities in a lot of game engines. Every game engine is a real time game engine where you can create movies, games and lot more things. Right now, short films are made in Game Engine. A lot of ads are made in Game Engine. That using Unity, Unreal, it may be any two. So you have a wide opportunity. The matter is, it's not that what course you take. It's not that what degree you make. It's not the matter of what course you are planning. In. I took in Udemy, sir. I took in Coursera, sir. I took in this, I took in that. That's not a matter here. What you did, are you strong in that? Have you corrected, you have perfectly completed it? Have you missed out something? Have you are exploring still the same? Or if you are a game developer or game artist or game designer or a level designer, are you still continuing the course in the same style? You should ask your questions back.
are we taking it's not that cross mapping cross mapping will not work every time it's extra skill if you are learning it's good always not in a space of always having a wavering mind everyone next question it's a very common question again i'll i'll get to have sir i am a mechanical engineer i took a course in level designing will i get a job will i get a job i am a lawyer i am interested in game designing will i get a job i am a i am a programmer game programmer i know c++ c sharp javascript python sir will i get a job every one has this question but what you have made your portfolio which is centered to it what you are targeting to it whether are you apt for it let's say if a tomorrow hr is rejecting your profile why my profile is getting rejected i see i'll tell you two three simple examples and move to the next topic it's like a student i saw he never even write a short description about him and he just attach his profile and send it to the hr do you think hr likes your email a guy write an email with a jpeg image he attach all his links does he think it works does the hr think you guys you are the right guys for the fit first before you sending an email check whether are you really applying for the right job are you really sending the links properly i call my learners i mean whoever applied for a students especially i'll support lot of students so i i'll target my students so i'll call them say ask them boss you have sent me a profile you have sent me a jpeg image how should i check your works and who are you first of all you didn't write any short description i don't care any of the gaming companies are literally bothered about your cpa gpa all your marks they are cared about your works your skill sets please present it properly definitely there is a job opportunity there is a job opportunity there are hell lot of game developers and hell lot of game designers are highly required by lot of companies i can tell you if you have a profile i'll try to really tell you which company is opening as lot of openings i can tell you right away i am working with starting from rockstar starting from rockstar and all the startups i am working with every one of them i am working with them every now and then and people call me per day in my mobile i get minimum of 25 50 job opportunities bro you have developers please tell me yaar if you have a designers please tell me yaar either he took gpa cpa whatever i don't care yaar you should have a strong code Yes, should be have a strong portfolio. That's all. You, if you have a portfolio, please give me the profile. I'll take it. Twelfth fail also. I don't have no problem. Who cares your degree? Who cares your uh, what you're doing? If let's say if you are new to this program, I suggest you to take the relevant relevant program to get in line to the market. That is a guidance that will give you a supporting hand in space. I suggest you only that space. If you think that sir, where to start? please take you every do you think you are a perfect person or if you think you are perfect role then the companies are ready for you companies are ready to hire you there is no doubts of that companies are ready to hire you oh sorry please go ahead. those companies are very limited sorry guys these are like companies not only limited i just want to put a red underline here that there are lot more companies are there outside i told four i started with 400 number 400 companies i cannot have all the logos here then you will see only logos there are companies who is ready to pay you and starting with wipro tcs accenture sorry guys those companies are also open but i suggest you these companies and lot more companies are there i suggest you. these are the sum numbers these are the revenues for a gaming startup those who think that sir startup can earn or not those who think startup is earning or not startup is earning no doubts if you are planning to start up please do it i support you can take my email id government is supporting i'll connect you with all the dots all the developers all the designers You, government is supporting every government started supporting modi ji has supported us in this areas 
So this is larger payers pictures. By the way, everyone knows many of these companies. And I'll just try to skip. Here, this is the slide which I want to talk about. Larger opportunities. Larger pay packages. <laughs> I have a developer, Hinton, he joined me for 25K. Right now, he's earning three times the salary. He has been offered four times also. The matter is not the salary package. Again, there are some opportunities around the market. And there are a lot of game companies around here to ready to pay for you. A lot of companies around you here. And these numbers, it's not... We said 200 startups. I think this is a slightly old report. Sorry to put it up here. But I want to mention this from the Indian Economics paper. Economic Times, sorry, Economic Times paper. So, this is not a fake record. This is actual by newspaper. So, there are a lot of opportunities. Why I'm telling you this? This is for the people, those who think that there is no opportunities. I'm just waking you up with, there are a lot of opportunities around you guys. Please get down with your portfolios. And these are some job opportunities. There are some job roles. Those who think that, what job role is the right fit for you? Please. There are a lot more job opportunities than this. These are some, these are very some opportunities. There are a lot more job opportunities are available in the market. Only thing, how you are centered to it. How are you thinking that you are a right fit for it? Only that is under your hands. Take a proper guidance. Take a proper step to it. Any of the roles you are targeting doesn't matter. I think I spoke a lot. Now I'd like to hear from you any of the questions. Open to Q&A. Please let me know if you have any questions. Any questions, any jobs, you want to know what technology, where it is in India, you know what, who is the CEO for it, you want to talk to him, you want to say like I'm a game developer, you want to draw a job in it, or I'm a mechanical engineer, I want to start the career, where to start? Definitely, I can answer you on that space. Any questions? Yep. Yep. If you have a good, good game idea, but you just know, don't know how to present it to somebody, like in a document sort of thing, or a short, short trailer or anything, maybe you don't have the skills or you don't have the clue to where to start. So how do you pitch your idea to somebody to get your funding or help from somebody else? Nice question. I'm really happy to ask. It's, it's going to be a question of a lot of people here. I like to take this question. Right now, in, in, we are in the Google world right now. We are in Google world. There are a lot of game templates which is there for you, but at the same time it's confusing for you also. Because there are a lot of templates which to choose. Broadly put, the core concepts, core ideas, what platforms you are publishing, in a simple four slides information. Very, very simple. What genre you are targeting, what idea you have, and what is your plans, whether you are tapping into like console market, Xbox or someone, or you are tapping in the PC market with Sony, those people, or whoever you are targeting, or you are targeting the mobile market, as I told you, and you should know who is your publisher, what type of an ideas. One more thing, those who have all ideas, I request those people, please try to put your ideas very strongly and target to the right guys. That's very, very important. Problem is, you tapping into a wrong people. The idea is like for a, I say a simple hyper casual games and you end up you are going to talk to a Sony, he's not going to take your idea. If I, what I suggest my, again my learners is, talk to the publishers, see, they have, every publisher has their own analyzing document where this goner is right now. Animals is a target games. Mobile games, in this, in mobile game, there's an inner analyzed document. Which genre, which type of mechanics is the top hit in the market? Please do the game to that areas. Shift your ideas slightly. Then you present to the right publisher. That's, it's not to be documents and documents of pages. Not required. Five slides is more than enough. Five slides is more than enough to present a idea. No need to be a detail of 20, 30 pages. Not required. Five slides is more than any other questions? Yeah, please. So, what will you say? What is a strong portfolio? Is in can I can you be very? Uh, like uh, I want to try in concept art. So, Super. 
Okay, let me let me answer you. When I say a strong portfolio, okay, when you say you are a concept artist, you want to prepare a strong portfolio art, you may use concepts around you. In the when you say a concept artist, when you tell a one single picture, you should deliver a concept what you are trying to say. Example, in a white billboard, you have one Apple logo. What do you tell that? What is all about? Apple phones. Apple product, nothing. If you see any Apple advertisement, just single boards. That's a concept. So when you tell a picture, you should convey the concept. It may be connecting from taking an idea from a roadside. I tell my students to step into the roads to get the concepts. Because in this roads, there are various concepts. I have a game called, known one of my friends made called Auto Shooter. I have a road crossing games. Those ideas are came up from, from the streets. Gully cricket. Those are the interesting ideas which is on the streets. Nothing wrong in that space. Okay? Yeah. I hope I can take this last question because I have another next speaker is waiting. Can I? Sorry. Oh. One minute, ma'am. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. yeah. I would just like to know that what's your definition of metaverse as a game developer? <laughs> I hope it's off topic, but metaverse is only one thing is like extension of reality. People say as virtual reality, I can say extension of total world to the futuristic way of seeing that is metaverse for me. I can, you can do anything. You can, you can be like you actually, what you want to become. And you can connect with man world, wherever you are. Your friend is in Australia, you can connect with them everywhere, every global, anywhere he is, metaverse is taking you there. It's an extension of the world. Not I can say glow, reality or anything. It's extension of world as I see as metaverse. Yeah. Um, thank you for the one lovely talk. Uh, what I noticed was you gave a list of all the kind of specializations or areas in which students can decide to go in. At what stage do you think the students are ready to make a decision? I'd like to specialize in this area, whether 2D graphics, concept artists, whatever, technical. Um, how should the teachers encourage them to go into that area? Uh, or should we at all, or just allow them to go and figure it out themselves? Always I used, I mean, my ma father used to say this statement. When you want to learn swimming, push him into the well. Push him into the well. He will, he will try to swim and come out. So I'll tell the students who are coming with zero idea what to become. I'll ask him to first jump into the gaming, start attending something, start surfing something. Somewhere he will stop himself. Example, as we have game artists, we had some game developers. That is one way for the faculties. You said faculties trying to. My faculties to identify, right? As a faculty, I can say that I used to engage, sit around with the students to understand them. That's where I identify the skills and I personally tell them that space. I talk to them one to one, every now and then. So that whenever I find time, I'll sit with students. Even if I want ideas, I'll talk to the students. They are the idea pool market. I can say they are the idea streets where I can get a lot of ideas from them. If you sit with the youngsters, you'll get n number of ideas. Only thing is you don't have time to develop it. That's the only problem with us. Thank you, thank you. Thank you everyone. I hope the session was good. Thank you so much.